I'm a little lost for words, I guess. No, this is going to be about what happened in Texas. Um, 19 kids killed a grandmother and a good teacher. I posted something on my TikTok. Um, I figured a podcast would be best for me to really talk long form, you know. Um, It's 10 days after the Buffalo shootings of, you know, and uh, I, I don't understand it, you know. I just don't. Ooh. You know, I'm contemplating not sending my kids to school tomorrow. Like, should I, should I even contemplate that? You know, they have like two days of school left and like, so I leave them home. You know, it, it's, you know, it's crazy. It is crazy. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the answer. So this is not about having the answer. This is not about. Um, maybe this is just talking shit through. This is just putting thoughts out there. I'm not sure. Priorities for I guess our country. Taking care of home first. Taking care of what needs to be taken care of. I growing up the way I grew up in Brooklyn in the hood. No one had a, a legal weapon. Everyone had an illegal weapon. Right. So I'm not sure if gun laws is even even would have helped us or not. I'm not, I'm not. I don't know. I think if you want to get something illegal, you're gonna get it. It doesn't matter what it is when to get an illegal purse if you want to fucking um you know get a weapon of some kind you're gonna you're gonna find a way that's what the world works right so you cut something out you make something illegal it's no different than how you know the, the prohibition back in the day of alcohol to even with you know um weed you know even with dr current drugs now and you make something illegal, people are going to find a way to make to get it anyway. So I'm not sure if putting extra gun laws out there would have helped the situation or not. Don't know. Not sure how the guy got into the school. You know, I know my kid's school is pre locked down. You got to press a, you know, like a bell outside. And state where you're in there for, but I guess you know you can lie about anything, right? The kids do not have a chance. You know, there's the same should happen as Sandy Hook. And people made Sandy Hook to come out to be like some fucking um conspiracy theory and shit. I'm not sure what what has to happen. My thoughts is that we we definitely have to hold our congressmen, congresswomen, 
senators accountable. We have to. Is that the right thing to do? Like, I'm going to email, I guess, whoever's a fucking elected, not even email the fucking governor. I'm not sure if it'll be seen. I'm not sure if it's going to be heard. I don't know. It's the only thing I can do, right? I, I, a conversation has to start. And with the people we have elected, they're not conversating about shit. They're not really having true conversations, really true debates until the wee hours of the, of the night talking about what can we do to save our constituents, our people. They're not looking at us as their people. They just see it as our problem. Because as Americans, we're notorious to, to be told to pull yourself up from your bootstraps. It's on you. I really do believe that this country, well, the powers that be, is really relying on us to fix this. They're not really trying to handle it or get some type of sense of some type of control. As other countries loom and look at us, some countries have gone to extreme of, of just, you know, taking guns completely out of the public's hands. But we have a very weird culture in America. The lack of respect for life. The lack of respect, period. I, I, I don't know. The course of actions I got to take now for my family is awareness. I got to give them tools and I can have nine year old twins. I can have a, a 14 year old going to high school. And I got to give them awareness. I got, I got to give them awareness of what to do, how to act, what to look out for. But you're, you're talking to a kid who's just involved in, in chitter chatter with their friends, right? And I'm sure that's what was happening. As this motherfucker fucking shot 19 fucking kids. So if our federal representatives is not going to do anything, what do we do at the local level then? What do you do in your community? I'm real small, local. Like, what do we do in our community, in your neighborhood, with the schools you have? How do we how do you secure your neighborhood? But we can't be to a point to where everything's fucking locked down and you can't just live your fucking life. But then what other option it is, right? Once the kids get in there, you gotta lock shit down. Like does a parent is a parent allowed to to enter the building? Like, I'm not sure how this kid got in. And they said this was in rural Texas. So, yeah, I think lifestyle is different there. They may feel like, hey, but it's not the big city. We can leave doors open, let people walk in. You have that perception in your head, it won't happen here. That's over there. That's in Buffalo. That's a world away from where this happened from. I usually don't talk about stuff like this, man, but it's just a matter of, uh, it's, just, it's a lot, man. I have kids. I have little kids. My older kids, I worry about them as well. You know what I'm saying? I have to be older kids, and they're in, a, they're in their, their early 20s, their mid-20s to early 20s, and I think about them all the time. 
then I have my, my younger ones, my younger three, and it's like, shit. What do I do? Right? What do I do? I, I don't I don't know the answer. I'm fidgeting because I, I, I'm I'm stressed out by this. That this continues to happen and, and no one fucking is really putting any emphasis on it. The news is gonna cover it because it's, it's it's a story. And as it loses its luster, it's just gonna go away. They only care about what's hot, right? What is hot for right now? So I'm gonna email my congressmen, congresswomen, I'm gonna email senators. I'm gonna email my local mayor, my, my, my mayor, maybe even chief of police and say, What do we have? Even looking at, you know, people who are in the community that may have some influence. I'm not sure what that is, but um, I, I, man, <laughs> if you're not bothered by this, I, then I'm not sure what kind of fucking human being you are. I just don't know. Your, the, the lifestyle that, that we fucking want, right? The lifestyle that we fucking desire, the lives that we want to give our children. And these kids had no fucking chance to live their fucking lives. I hate to bring correlations in, but we're so caught up in the, in the abortion thing. Every life matters, right? From conception to saying. But what are we doing when they're alive? How the fuck are we protecting them? And then so these kids were born. Now they're dead. Now their parents had to go through the rest of their lives. Knowing that they lost their child. But we're fighting to save lives is in the womb, but then what happens after the womb? What happens when that person grows up and becomes the motherfucker that shot these kids? He was only 18. What the fuck was going on in his life? Right? That made him do this. Of course, what happened in Buffalo probably gave him the balls to do it because there's always copycats, right? You know, he may have been planning this for a long time as well. Maybe not. Maybe he just said, yo, fuck it. I'm going to do this. But we have to protect ourselves and our children. The, the parents send their kids to school to fucking learn. You, hoping that your kids can get a fucking education. And but to get that phone call, I can't even think about that, man. I, I don't even know what the fuck to think. What I'm gonna do, and maybe I guess I suggest that you guys do start local. Find out who's your, your district person, shit like that. Like I say your congressperson. Email them. And email them a lot until you get a fucking answer, until you get a response. There's a difference between reaction and a response. Don't take their reaction to your email as a response to your email. A reaction is just going to try to shut you the fuck up. 
a response is where they, they got to be held accountable and make some fucking true changes. Some real thinking, critical thinking skills needs to fucking happen where the people be fucking elect to handle situations like this that's beyond the scope of a parent or the people in the neighborhood. But since we're on this fucking horse of take care of your fucking self, take care of your fucking self, then maybe that's the shit. You really want me to take care of myself. And is that by any means necessary? This conversation runs deep. And it happens again. Politicians say they're sorry. They go on Twitter. They fucking say they're going to pray. It's too fucking late. Prayer is not bringing no one back. It's been proven. You're going to pray for the families. What the fuck is that going to do? Doesn't bring that fucking kid back. The kid is fucking gone. Gone. Sorry for the long pauses, because I'm just fucking, like I said, just stunned. The time is now to fucking do something, and you have to start, like I said, local. I, I, I'm not going to keep on being a dead horse. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might draft up a fucking email. Be honest with your emails, with your correspondence. Share it with everybody as well. Um, DM me. My links are all up in my bio. Um, I will add my... Instagram, I don't have my Instagram on my link. I will add that so you guys could um, hit me up. And um, let me know what you're doing. I'll, I'll talk about it here. If anybody else wants to come on the podcast and talk about it more in depth, hey, let me know. We'll, we'll try to schedule something to put you on. But it's a sad day. It's a fucked up day. Take care of your own. Do what you have to do. I'm not sending my kids to school tomorrow. Peace.